In this video, we will share with you the best free machine learning indicators on TradingView that can help improve your win rates in the markets and provide valuable insights into market dynamics. Having access to these indicators will provide you with an edge on others in the ever-evolving world of artificial intelligence. We will also share with you each indicator's weakness, strengths, and how they can be best used to help your profitability. The first indicator is programmed using a machine learning technique called Nearest Neighbors and provides these buy and sell labels to help identify market direction. We can access it by searching Machine Learning KNN Update. The older version of this indicator received the Editor's Pick Award, which shows that it's one of the top indicators on the platform, but this is an even more updated version by the same developer. Here we can see the developer pointed out that, while the previous version did not work on all timeframes, this version does. Go ahead and add it to your chart. Right out the gate, we can see that this indicator is extremely good at catching short-term market changes. If we happen to be in a ranging market, this indicator will perform extremely well as it tries to catch the start of reversals very quickly. Here we are ranging and there is a sell signal before the market has fully transitioned. Due to this reactiveness, when we are in a trending market, the indicator will sometimes provide these false early signals. So when using this indicator, it is best to pair it with a moving average or some other trend detection tool to only execute trades in the long-term trend direction. As a result of how the indicator works it is ideal for persons who want to get in and out of the market quickly for quick profits. If we go into the settings of the indicator we can see that we have a number of settings relating to how the data is processed. The important options that you need to remember here are the indicator option and the filter option. The indicator option will control how much indicators the nearest neighbor algorithm use to determine the buy and sell signals. The filter option attempts to filter out bad signals, though it is not perfect it does help. If I set this to none, you will notice there are a lot more signals now being displayed on the chart and quite a number of these signals are not good. So I would recommend leaving it on both. So once again, this indicator is good for short-term trading. If you are looking to get in and out of the market quickly, this might be a good indicator for you. The drawbacks are that this indicator does not do well in holding long-term trends, and there are occasionally times where this indicator will repaint signals in the replay mode due to how signals are processed. The next indicator we will discuss is far better at holding longer-term trends and is great to use alongside your analysis to determine market direction. This indicator is called Machine Learning Lorentzian Classification, and as you can see this indicator has also received the Editor's Pick Awards. This indicator has a lot more features than the previous indicator and is far more customizable. Immediately, the first things we notice is that this indicator displays candles as a color gradient along with these numbers to determine the strength of a trend. By having a gradient option, we can now see gradually how the market trend shifts. Let's say you executed a buy trade using this indicator and you wanted to hold the trade until take profit but you noticed early on that the colors are becoming more red and the candle numbers are lowering. This is the first sign that the market strength is weakening. So we can reduce our risk, adjust our stops or exit our position completely to prepare for a possible reversal. This helps you stay ahead of the game as you don't have to wait for a confirmed sell or buy signal. If these numbers seem confusing to you, what you can do is go into settings and enable ATR offset. This will push the numbers away from the bars, so you might be able to see them more clearly. You also have the option to uncheck show prediction values if you would just not like to see the numbers at all. If we scroll back to the top of the settings panel, we can see that we have a few general settings available. The max bar back controls how much data is used by the indicator to provide predictions. More is usually better, but increasing will slow down the indicator. So I would recommend leaving it on defaults. Color compression controls how gradual the candle colors change. Higher values will result in sharper changes in candle coloring. I would recommend leaving this on one so we can see slowly as the market momentum shifts. Show default exits will provide you with a recommended exit for trades based on the last signal. These exits are more suited for shorter term one to one risk to reward trading and given that the indicator by default is more optimized for longer term trends I would recommend leaving this option off.
or you can keep it enabled just to see when the indicator thinks it is a good time to exit so you have more confluence in your analysis, but we will not exit our positions on this recommendation. The show trade stats provides an estimate of the current win rate based on the current settings being used by the indicator. As you can see at the moment, this indicator has a win rate above 70%. Note this is just an estimate based on the next four bars after execution and should not be used as an actual back tester. Next, the line that we see on the chart is a kernel estimate and you can enable or disable this if you scroll down to kernel settings. The kernel acts as another form of confluence for trade entries and trailing positions. When price is bullish it will be green and when bearish it will be red. Always remember that beside each option in settings is an icon that if highlighted will provide you with an explanation on what each option is for. So as mentioned this indicator is more suited for longer term trading such as swing trading. Go ahead and go to the filter settings and increase the regime filter to 1. Increasing the regime option will attempt to filter out false signals allowing us to now see longer term trading opportunities more clearly. Here we can see that we are receiving a buy signal. I will execute a buy and I will keep stops below the recent swing low and I will hold the position until the kernel changes color. Here we can see we received an exit signal but once again these exit signals are more suited for short term scalping so we will ignore that signal and hold. And here now that the kernel is not bullish I will exit my position. That is one of the many ways to use the Lorentzian classification indicator to ascertain long-term entries and trend direction. As you can see the market is fluctuating a lot here and here we might have had a market structure shift, but if you are trading in the direction of the indicator you could have waited for another bullish structure shift to stay in that trade or take another entry. So if you are generally looking for longer time trades, this could be the AI indicator for you. However, you should be aware that when doing replay on this indicator due to how data is delivered, there is also a chance of repainting, though rare, it is possible. And now I will show you the most impressive and currently the most popular free AI tool on TradingView. Before we continue, don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video with your friends. And if you would like to try the top premium package of trading tools by the top developers on TradingView, you can use the link in the video description to try Luxalgo Premium Risk free for 30 days. The next indicator we are discussing is currently trending number one on TradingView trending page and within the first day of being published has received the editor's pick. This indicator has zero repainting and can be used in multiple market conditions. The indicator is called Supertrend AI Clustering by Luxalgo. This indicator is optimized for a mixture of long-term and short-term trading and can adapt to different market conditions easily. The indicator also provides these bullish and bearish labels with a voting value above each to indicate how likely it is that the predictions will play out. The higher the value the higher the likelihood of the prediction being correct. We can see that this indicator also provides a color gradient for candles so we can know how strong or weak a trend is. The lines that form above or below price acts as a trailing stop for entries. So once we enter a position, we can move our stops with these lines so in the event price reverses we can still capture some of the profit from the position. If we compare this indicator to the Lorentzian classification, we can see that the Supertrend AI clustering is much faster at catching market trend changes. If we go into the settings, we can see that we have a number of options available where, if modified, can help us filter signals, however as mentioned, we also have the voting value on each signal to let us know how likely it is a trade will be correct. If you would like to know more about this indicator's settings, we have a video on our channel that discusses the settings of this specific indicator further. It is worth mentioning that just because a value is low on a signal does not mean you should completely ignore it. I would recommend that if you happen to see a trade with a lower value, but based on your analysis, you believe the market might go in that direction, use a lower position size to reduce your risk for that trade. Use the values to build confidence in your trading. For example, here we can see the market was trending bullish, but so far has failed to make a higher high and instead has made a lower low, but here we have a buy signal. The buy signal has a lower vote value and the market structure seems to be failing so we can reduce our risk on this trade. 
This is how you can mitigate your losses using these indicators. This indicator also has an extension to help you further understand the market dynamics. If we search Supertrend AI Clustering Oscillator, this one by Luxalgo, and add it to our chart. This oscillator is designed to work directly alongside this indicator to help you build confluence in your analysis. An easy way to understand the oscillator is that if there are no bands below the zero line, the trend is very bullish, and when there is no bands above the zero line the trend is very bearish. Taking trades when these conditions are met can provide you with a higher chance of getting a profitable trade. I hope you enjoyed this video on these top AI indicators and their use cases. Machine learning is the next evolution in technical analysis and these tools will help us make better predictions on price movement and as a result it is important to stay on top of the latest releases in the space. Here at Switch Stats we are committed to providing you with the latest in all things indicator. If you like the Supertrend AI clustering indicator by Luxalgo, don't forget you can use the link in the video description to try the premium suite for 30 days risk-free where you will get access to the price action concepts to help traders draw market structure along with other price action teachings. You also receive the signals and overlays indicator, which includes overlays such as the Smart Trail and Neo Cloud to help determine market direction. And finally you also get the oscillator matrix that can help to determine money flow allowing you to clearly see if money is coming in or out of the market. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Stay safe in the markets and we will see you again next time.